Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to Madden 18 on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking... With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks. What we can see of the ball appears to be teed up and ready to go. Now to return it, here's Kenyon Drake. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And here comes Jay Cutler from the Bears to the broadcast booth, sort of. And then all of a sudden, signed August 6th by these Miami Dolphins. First practice Tuesday the 8th. Is that enough time to get him ready? Well, I believe that it is. And I think Jay actually echoed that at his press conference where he talked about, you know, cardiovascular. Not that big a deal for quarterbacks. It's much more that right arm that he has, and you and I both know. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Cliff Averill. In there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now Cutler to throw on second down. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. And down he'll go at the 25. It's a gain of five on the play, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. They're still in search of the first down after that last completion. Now Cutler on third and long. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, when defensive coordinators game plan to put pressure on a quarterback, they often want to use blindside rushes, and that's exactly what they did there. The quarterback gets to him and drops him. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Carry for Thomas Rawls. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call... And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 26. It's a big hook up there. Wilson to Baldwin. 43 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Thomas Rawls, 26 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Blair Walsh on to attempt the extra point. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. Back here with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We've had the kick. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Right, here we go. Boom, 
Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. On second down, Cutler. And Fasano here brings it in. And he'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Here's Cutler to throw. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Here's Matt Dar now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. And this ball is going to be touched down just shy of midfield. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach... This is caught inside the 15. A gain of 32 that time. I don't care how many times you tell the story. It never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin, undrafted out of Stanford, and plays like a number one receiver should in the NFL. I don't care how you cover him. I don't care that his size isn't great. He's the one that typically comes up with the football. Absolutely. Is and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Thomas Rawls with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Walsh now for the PAT. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Well, CD peeking around the league for a second, looking at quarterbacks. Dolphins, they've already lost Tannehill. A couple other teams are worried that they might not have their horse for the starting game, and that would be Cam Newton. And you got Andrew Luck in Indianapolis as well. Yeah, not to mention Joe Flacco, Flacco. Baltimore, yeah. right? I mean, and a loose football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball, and we just saw there that that's difficult to do, but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. A swing pass caught. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Jimmy Graham, 37 yards. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. 
He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Extra point try now for Walsh. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. And they're able to get the connection on a long touchdown pass. And that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're now Cutler in trouble. He lost the football. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, here's Cutler. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, Cutler. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's Matt Dar now as he's on to punt for Miami. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And not his best effort there as this one's going to be spotted down just outside of the 40-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And let's not take for granted, in these conditions, that's never an easy pass and catch. You really got to find a way to drive the ball. You know, get your grip. You know, that's why we see some of the guys now that put the gloves on when they, when they throw the ball in this type of a condition. Sometimes the glove might make it too slippery. So you got to figure out what's going to work for you. But how about the receivers? Looking back and trying to locate the ball coming through snow and making sure they have full concentration. To throw is Wilson. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And Walsh able to convert it as his kick is good. A lightning quick halftime. These guys hardly made it to the tunnel. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. There he goes, right side. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Paul Richardson, 84 yards. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. And people still try to get back to their seats from the concession stand here at the start of the third quarter, and boom, we got points on the board. And you just identified why the bulk of stadiums have increased presence in the concession areas, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half.
Walsh now for the PAT. And the lead is now an even 30. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come up. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Cliff Averill able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now it's a giant. And nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. They go play action now. Cutler. Oh, some strong running. And it's caught by Parker. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A gain of 32 that time. Uh, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to right, press up on you, push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. All right, here we go. 319! Play action. It's Cutler. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. Now Cutler on third and long. Able to get away. And some strong running. And he's going to go down again. Atama Rubin in there to drop him and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long well these guys want to do something positive as this game approaches its end but after giving up back-to-back -back sacks it's really been more indicative of how the game and the pressure gets to him again michael bannon so they tried to go for it for pride but it really wouldn't have mattered this one it was already determined no doubt about it this one was over a while ago First down, this is Rawls. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. Rep, 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 rep. 
Oh, Wilson going to throw. And that's complete to Luke Wilson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. here on first down that is caught at the seven yard line he gets this down to the three brought the power run out of the bag but couldn't do a ton with it well partner there's something special about a game in the snow just always fun in these elements although a little chillier up here in the open air booth the only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid-game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because the element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play. Just out of